The steel helmet is something that really had to be reinvented for trench warfare in the First World War. Because of course, back along the medieval period, everybody wore a steel pot on their head. They dropped out of fashion because they were heavy and not particularly useful, but in trench warfare suddenly we have a large number of guys coming down with head injuries. So the armies have to respond and each army has a different shape, a different type. This one is a First World War German steel helmet, an iconic shape, iconic design, Der Stahlhelm. And this is a nice example, it's got its original uh, disruptive pattern paintwork. It's also got something we get asked about quite a lot, these bolts on the side. Now, what are they for? Well, they're not to screw it to the soldier's head so he can't take it off. I can tell you that for a start off. What it's all about is the fact that these things, they will deflect little bits and pieces that get thrown up in the air and come down. It's a bit like they might stop a shrapnel bullet. But if you've got your head above the top of the trench and that enemy sniper draws a bead on you, that round is going to go through this helmet, through your head, and straight up the other side. Now, the only army to really think about this was the German army. Because, I mean, for the most part, on the Western Front, they are thinking defensively. They don't really want to go anywhere. They just want to hold the land they've got. So they came up with a solution. And it involved putting the bolts on the sides of the Stahlhelm. They also double as ventilators. But they're mainly to attach one of these things. Now, this thick old lump of steel, it's about four kilos, is called a Sturmpanzer. I'm not going to put it on this one because it'll scratch the original paintwork. But if I put this one... This repainted example, you can see how it works. Now it's got lugs that attach onto the shell helm itself, and it sits in place like that. And it would have been, this has disappeared, secured in place around the back with a leather strap. Now, this is mighty heavy. You do not want to wear this all the time, you're going to have neck strain. But if you are on sentry duty in your trench at night, you can hear something rustling in the barbed wire. Now, it might be the rats, or it might be the enemy. You've got to stick your head up and take a look. This might just save your life, because it is just about thick enough to deflect an incoming round. I don't dare think what sort of headache you'd have afterwards, but you'd still be alive. And that, in my opinion, is the main thing.